In this video, we will give an overview of this section on more conditional probability. So our goals for this section are to solve more conditional probability word problems. We'll also talk about how we can recognize when to use tree diagrams versus when to use the conditional probability formula straight up. And then finally, there's a topic that I originally intended to cover in the last section, but I thought it just made a little bit more sense to cover it here, which is how to evaluate the probability of the intersection of two events. So I need A and B to occur when the two events are not independent as well as when the two events are independent.